I'm joined now by Doha Erelp. He's a professor of conflict analysis and resolution at the School of International Service at American University here in Washington. Thanks for joining us. Let's start with this uh, target, the football stadium there in Istanbul. A group affiliated with the PKK has claimed responsibility. Just want to get your thoughts about what happened. This was a soft target. You said that this was a stadium that you've actually been in. Yeah, I mean, uh, this is a stadium that I always go. It's my favorite team, Beşiktaş Stadium. Um, what we observe in Turkey, there now is a generational divide among the um, Kurdish militants. Those who belong to the older generation, they were more uh, intent in talking with the Turkish government. But uh, especially after the failure of the recent peace talks, the younger Kurdish uh, militants, especially those who favor violence, decided to move, on, move ahead with their plans. So this uh, new organization is a splinter group from the PKK, and they're carrying out much reckless attacks. This, I believe, is their uh, fourth or fifth attack over the past two years in soft targets, on civilian targets. This time they did attack the uh, security personnel, the police, most of whom were actually new recruits. Some were only police for the last three months. These young people, 23, 24 year old. So the idea is to hit back hard at the Turkish government, who's been uh, basically pounding the targets in southeast Turkey and uh, Kurdish part of Syria. And, and really the motivation here, especially with uh, targeting a group of football fans, uh, something that a lot of people there sort of rally around. Uh, what, are, what are they trying to do here? Strike fear into everybody? Well, I mean, this is what we call in conflict analysis and resolution, the cycle of violence. Uh, as the Turkish government uh, has been cracking on the uh, pro-peace voices from the Kurdish political side, those who favor violence uh, began to use the space that's been made available to them. So as these uh, terror organizations start hitting hard at Turkish government, as we see today, Turkish government hits back even harder at them. So unfortunately, it won't be surprising to expect further attacks from the splinter group in the coming future. Uh, they responded, Turkey responded with jets, hundreds of arrests, anti-terror raids. Um, do you think we'll ever see a point where the PKK and Turkey's government can get back to the table for peace talks? Well, uh, I think the problem here is that the Turkish government would actually need to speak with the official representatives of the people in Turkey who voted for pro-peace and pro-democracy Kurdish party rather than talking with the terror organization. So uh, what we see at this point as the political leaders of the pro-Kurdish party has been put into prison, uh, there's only one actor left that is left to carry out the uh, ideology, a separatist ideology that carries out violence. So I would expect the uh, intensification of violence until the presidential elections are held. So we don't know what date they're going to hold the presidential election. So if any resumption of peace talks uh, would be thinkable, that would only be possible after the uh, election of uh, Erdogan as the president of Turkey. All right. We'll leave it there. Doha Erelp, as Thank you. always, we appreciate your perspective. My pleasure. Thank you.